In case you don't know, this is why Labour Party's presidential candidate Peter B will never be Nigerian's president. Renan Mokri has gone viral. So this is Renan Mokri now. Um, prior to the um, Supreme Court judgment, he said he was practicing a dance that uh, he would dance when Peter B loses at the Supreme Court. Now, the Supreme Court has sustained Tinubu's victory and uh, sustained his presidency. So he has danced that dance and is now coming out to tell us why uh, Peter B will never be president of Nigeria. Hmm. This is no mockery. But he will be, we will definitely collapse him to happen. An ex AD to former President Good Lord Jonathan, Pastor Red Omokri, is he a pastor? <laughs> On Thursday, eventually mocked the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, and his supporters. Renault had three days ago promised to dance if Supreme Court dismisses the appeal filed by the candidate of the Labour Party in the February 23, uh, February 23 general election for Mr. Peter Obi. Supreme Court, in a unanimous decision by a seven-man panel of justices, dismissed as lacking in merit the appeal OB filed to nullify President Bola Tinubu's election. Excited by the Supreme Court judgment, Omar Kri, via his Twitter handle now X platform, danced meritoriously and vociferously, told OB that he would never become president of Nigeria. He echoed that he has never suffered what he suffered in the hands of the obedience supporters of Peter B. His words, since I was born, I have never suffered what I suffered in the hands of the obedience. Peter B, you will never be president of Nigeria. Hmm. So that's exactly what he did in that video. And uh, that another video has gone viral. But the fact remains that Peter B being a president of Nigeria or not being a president of Nigeria again, obviously it's not going to make this administration a favorable one and everybody is going to suffer it whether i like it or not already the exchange rate has gone uh and gone bad the cost of living has gone bad job lessons have gone bad the economy has gone bad and unfortunately the country is is still nosing downwards i don't know when things will get better in nigeria that's the truth but again for peter for don no market i've taken peter be personal Peter B has been very, very harmless, as harmless as Dove. Peter B has been very, very harmless and has been very, maintained a very high level of matured decorum and has proven that he is, um, that, uh, you know, he is not like any other politician. But since these people have taken toll on him, I tell you, if I were him, I would just leave this country alone because obviously, there are no, there's no plan to get better in Nigeria. There's just no plan to get better in Nigeria. I'm telling you, very soon, Nigeria is going to turn like Venezuela, where one loaf of bread will go for 100,000 naira, and you will even see the cash <coughs> to buy it. That is how bad it is going to be. Except and accept, accept and accept the divine intervention. But how will God intervene in a country that is ruled by very extremely selfish wicked politicians i don't see how that happens um, ex but god can't anyway uh, i'm not doubting god i'm not doubting the abilities of god probably for the sake of just one person he can turn the whole city upside down to deliver that one person god can do that okay and that is again another aspect of uh, uh, divine intervention but going by by prayer of agreement hmm, it is, I see Nigeria operating under a course. I see Nigeria because the power that be cannot be generated from, from occultic activities that are putting Nigeria on the arms way spiritually. It's quite an unfortunate situation. Omokri himself has uh, chosen to be one of those people that are supporting, uh, one of those people supporting the evil going on in Nigeria. But is it going to be forever? Can Omokri come back and stay safely in Nigeria? I don't understand why he's behaving the way he's behaving, frankly speaking. So let me go straight to a few comments here. When I said, a liter of oil is over 600 naira. 
uh, a dollar is now 1,300. I am sure by December, dollar will be 1,500. Fuel will be 700. And uh, Buhari with NEPA, with NEPA certificate, met a dollar at 200 and took it to 700. Ebola Tinubu now, um, with five months, within five months, has taken it to 1,300. Still, you don't see the writing on the wall. What exactly are you celebrating? Did you print your certificate from a business center? You think, say, na Igbo man, or na they do? For example, my building materials business, what 80 million naira? I don't put everything on top. Now, now, I they make money more. Exactly. <laughs> now, I they make more profit. Now, wow. Is this man making himself God? It very soon. You know God. <laughs> no, uh, Peter B can never rule country Nigeria. God forbid the game over for B. That's fine. That is fine for you people. Obi has made it in life. He's not going to suffer. Hmm? He's not going to be he's not going to suffer. Obi, he is far better than you. So why are you celebrating? That's another one for Mokri there. Always seeking for notice from a far country. Such an irrelevant voice talking. You are not God, whatever you call yourself. Hmm. So now you know God. Are we? Obedience in their quest to see that their candidate who won the election became wicked, bitter, ferocious, uncharitable, violent, disrespectful, hateful, and arrogant. Okay? They are never a Democrat. This has been displayed severally, yet they will presidency. They want presidency. Okay. No wahala. So the fact here... So be there, she please abuse this man over there. There's no abuse here. There's no abuse here. The fact, the fact remains that Nigeria should get ready, should brace up for the worst because it's going to be tough. It's obviously going to be tough. That is it. This are uh, one of big fools we have as a country. All the time you are out to fight without nothing to show for. Your mate out there is giving out one million each to his students to assist them with their education at Augustine University. Hmm. So you less man, okay, are you God? Please stop running into conclusion, okay? This is the only song this bingo called no more knows. But let's see whether he is the one that made Tinubu the president. Renor Mokri is the greatest fool whose boss lost everything but he is dancing for another person's failure. Hmm. The character like Obi can't rule Nigeria. Okay, well, that's fine. No problem. Peter Obi is a religious by God who only loves and loyal to his Igbo tribe. Okay. Well, no wahala. You know your father's name is Ogedengbe. No problem. Let them go and dance. What a nice name. The warrior giant man of mockery. You are too much. Okay, he's a nice man. No problem. So Nigeria is already in for a long haul. So let's see who will survive. Thank you for listening. Let's have a comment.